In the endless darkness between the stars, something is racing toward us, faster than anything we have ever seen before. 61 kilometers every second. No asteroid, no comet from our solar system has ever reached such speed. This is 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor known to humanity, and already it is proving to be the most extraordinary of them all. It is not just the fastest, it may also be the largest. At first, astronomers thought it spanned only 10 kilometers, but new estimates suggest its frozen heart could stretch to 46 kilometers across, a monstrous bulk millions of times more massive than the interstellar guests we met before, Oumuamua and Borisov. For something that has drifted through interstellar space, supposedly scarce and starved of matter, to reach such a size seems almost impossible. And yet here it is, sliding into the solar system like a giant, uninvited guest. And it is not merely large, it is rare. Instead of plunging steeply through the planetary family like a stone skipping across water, Atlas moves almost perfectly along the same flat plane where Earth, Venus, Mars and Jupiter orbit. Its path is tilted by less than 5 degrees, a coincidence with odds of only 1 in 500. It is as if this object were following the very road our worlds have carved, weaving through them like a traveler who already knows the map. But perhaps strangest of all is its behavior. When it first appeared, Atlas glowed faintly red, like an ember floating in the dark. Now its light has turned emerald green, a haunting glow that flickers like breath against the stars. Scientists say cyanide gas is escaping from its surface, scattering light in strange colors. But in the spectrum of that glow, they have also found nickel without iron, an unnatural signature, one that on Earth usually comes not from geology, but from industry. That alone has unsettled many minds. And then came the anti-tail, a paradox in the sky, Every comet grows a luminous veil that streams away from the sun, blown by solar wind like hair in a storm. But Atlas has formed one that points inward, toward the sun, a ghostly finger of light defying the rules. Astronomers explain that ice fragments are too heavy to be pushed back, drifting instead toward the star. But when you see the image, when you let it sink in, it looks like rebellion, like the object itself is raising a banner against expectation. Thank you, my fellow voyagers, for pausing here with me to wonder at this cosmic riddle. If you'd like to keep wandering together through these mysteries, a simple touch on subscribe ensures our little ship of curiosity keeps sailing. And tell me, where are you listening from tonight? From the pulse of a city, the quiet of the countryside, or the edge of the sea? To know that across this blue world, people gather in a circle of shared wonder, makes this story even more alive, but the strangeness deepens. On October 3, 2025, Atlas will sweep close to Mars. NASA's orbiter circling the red world will turn its eye toward it, trying to capture an image, the first time in history that an interstellar visitor could be photographed from another planet. And Earth? Earth will be on the opposite side of the sun at that exact moment, hidden away, as far from Atlas as possible, some say this is nothing more than chance. Others whisper that it feels deliberate. Imagine that, a wanderer that is fastest, largest, rarest, strangest, changing color, defying the sun, gliding along a path that brings it near Mars while avoiding Earth. If this is coincidence, it is a symphony of coincidences. And if it is not, if the chemistry and trajectory hint at something more intentional, then perhaps Atlas is not merely a comet at all, but an emissary, a messenger from a mind older or stranger than ours. And so the first act of this story closes not with an answer, but with a question. In the green glow of Atlas, what truth waits for us? Will it pass by quietly, only a frozen relic of ancient stars? Or will it reveal itself as something more, something that forces us to rewrite what it means to be alive in the cosmos? What if Atlas is not just a frozen wanderer, but a survivor of times before our sun was born? Think of it, billions of years adrift, slipping through the ruins of exploded stars, drifting through clouds of dust and fire, gathering strange elements along the way. It could carry within its core the ashes of ancient suns, the chemical fingerprints of worlds that died long before Earth ever existed. To study Atlas is to hold a relic older than time as we know it, a library written in ice, and yet there are whispers that it may be more. 
the peculiar chemistry, the strange trajectory, the way Earth is hidden from its path. These invite questions we are almost afraid to ask. Could Atlas be artificial? Could it be a machine disguised as a comet, traveling not by accident but by design? Humanity once launched the Voyager probes with careful precision, slingshotting them past planet after planet so that one small craft could tour the solar system before leaving it behind. What if some other intelligence, somewhere in the Sagittarius constellation, once did the same? It is tempting, of course, to dismiss this as fantasy. Science demands caution. We do not leap to conclusions, but history reminds us. The cosmos often surprises us in ways stranger than fiction. There was once a time when humanity believed the sun circled the earth, and another when we believed the Milky Way was the whole universe. Each time, reality shattered our assumptions. Why should this be different? Imagine for a moment that Atlas is a vessel, not of stone and ice, but of memory. Perhaps it carries probes within it, ready to scatter when it nears the warmth of a star. Perhaps its shifting colors are signals, chemical flares burning in patterns we do not yet understand. And imagine, too, that when it slips behind the sun in the coming months, it changes its course, vanishing into shadow, reappearing not where we expect, but where it chooses. If that happens, it will no longer be just a mystery. It will be an announcement. But even if Atlas is only natural, the mystery remains profound. Here is an object older than the solar system itself, vast, unpredictable, behaving in ways no comet should. To witness it is to glimpse the story of the galaxy itself, a story that began long before Earth had oceans, long before Mars had valleys, long before life took its first breath. And so, telescopes across Earth turn their gaze skyward. Orbiters around Mars prepare their cameras. Astronomers wait in tense excitement. Somewhere in the emerald glow of Atlas, there lies an answer, not only about what this object is, but about who we are and whether we are truly alone. When we look at Atlas, we are not just watching a comet. We are staring into a mirror of possibility, a possibility that the universe is teeming with wanderers, some natural, some perhaps not, a possibility that we may one day send out our own emissaries to drift across the abyss for billions of years to be discovered by another civilization asking the same questions we ask tonight. And so the tale of Atlas leaves us on the edge of wonder, Will this interstellar stranger simply glide past Mars, offering us only a glimpse of its enigmatic light? Or will it do the unthinkable, something that forces us to confront the truth that the cosmos is not silent, that we are part of a larger story stretching beyond imagination? Until that moment comes, all we can do is watch. Watch as the fastest, largest, strangest visitor ever known streaks across the sky. Watch as it bends our minds toward questions too large to ignore. Watch and remember. The universe is not just vast. It is alive with mysteries. And one of them is passing before our very eyes. Thank you for sharing this journey with me tonight. Every like and subscription means the world. It's what keeps our little ship of curiosity sailing. If you felt wonder in this story, a gentle tap on subscribe and like helps us keep exploring the stars together. I'm truly grateful to have you here.